Hello everyone and welcome to this $300 show match between Mr. Yo and Vivi for the number one China player role. <laughs> Bragging rights, I suppose. This was a uh, this was sponsored by a Chinese donor. And score is currently 1-1 as we have a Mongols and Spanish war in the red. We have Mr. Yo playing as the Mongols on the right side of the map. And on the left side of the map, we have Vivi playing as the Spanish. Spanish are always fun to watch on Arabia. They have such a unique play style. And we'll be talking about that in just a second. So score is currently 1-1. Both players having some pretty entertaining first games. The first game was kind of a blowout. Uh, but the second game was very even. And we really got to see a lot of the Mayans meta. In this game, I'm very excited to see how this matchup goes. Let's talk a little bit about the Spanish. So the Spanish are such a weak... They're, they're a decent feudal civilization, but they're limited in their options. So they can go for a strong tower rush. They can go for decent scouts. Not particularly strong, but decent scouts. And they can't go for archers, really. I mean, they can go for archers, but you can't upgrade them to crossbowmen, which puts you in quite a pickle for your feudal age play. Now, Vivi, he does like his towers, so getting a tower bonus certainly... Is very alluring to him, I'm sure. And maybe we see him make good use out of that. As well, this map is a very small map. Where the players are close together is what I meant to say. So that certainly favors tower aggression as well. But the strength, really, of the Spanish are in their Conquistadors. The Conquistadors is the best, if not the second best, uh, Castle Age unique unit. Especially when it comes to raiding. And Conquistadors can change around the game with just one or two big raids. So that's really what we're looking for. Speaking of strong unique units, the Mongols probably have the strongest unique unit in the game, but only comes into its own in the Imperial Age, where you have to afford a lot of expensive upgrades. The Mongols get up to the next age much sooner because of their hunt bonus, which means that it'll be harder for Vivi to pressure him, as Mr. Yo can come up with a counter tower much sooner, or military much sooner. And certainly the Mongols have a better scout rush than the Spanish. Going to Castle Age... You have camels, which are available to the Mongols, and uh, they dip off a bit in Castle Age, and and by the time they come in back into Imperial Age, they'll be strong once again with those Mangadai. Now, a lot of this depends on the map as well, and as I'm blurting out this useless information to you, we have a boar steal from Mr. Yo. Players have been going for the steals all game, and it looks like Mr. Yo is actually going to get it. This Is this the first successful boar steal we've seen? I think we've seen two failed ones so far. That's a successful boar steal. Vivi's gonna look for the steal as well. Where is the boar? For Mr. Yo? I don't see it. Oh, it's right here in the north. And Mr. Yo's gonna get it right away. I like this play. Go for it right away. Don't be greedy. And Mr. Yo has found all his goats as well. So this is a great start for Mr. Yo. Especially his mongols. This is even bigger as mongols. I did want to say that... Mr. Yo did recently give an interview for Mem's channel. You can find it on Mem's channel. He did an interview for KOD T TD2. If you hadn't noticed, we're on KOD TD2, um, the Arabia version of it. And in the interview, he was asked... What, that was risky. He was asked, what is his least favorite player to play? And of course, a lot of players say MBL because they don't like that he steals every game. So he learned from MBL... To steal from MBL every game because MBL is going to steal from him every game. And I think now Mr. Yo might be the next prodigy when it comes to boar stealing. As he's stealing from Vivi. Trying to steal from Vivi every time this series. Quick feudal age from Mr. Yo. 19 pop feudal age. Normally 19 pop. That, that's really, that really hurts your economy. It's sometimes hard to make scouts even as mongols. But with a third boar that's going to be no problem. As long as Mr. Yo has enough on wood. Which looks like he does. I'm going to stick with one lumber camp for now. Doesn't have to build any farms that helps his economy so much. Unfortunately, he's lost half the HP on his scout. So that'll hurt his early scout rush a little bit. But look at this uptime from, from uh, Mr. Yo. Can you imagine what would happen if Vivi tried to forward against this kind of uptime? It would be an absolute disaster. Even though... Mr. Yo does have two forward stones, and he'll want those stones going into the Imperial Age for his Megadai. In a closer look at Mr. Yo's map, it's impossible to wall the north. This gold is extremely exposed. Woodline is 
pretty decent. This wood line is pretty decent. Impossible to wall this right side. It's so odd that Mr. Yo is basically in the middle of the map. Normally, you'd expect his town center to be around here, where there wouldn't be too much space behind him. Mr. Yo is basically in the middle of the map, and probably the same thing for Vivi. Vivi's going to try to wall it as much as possible, try to prevent the scout raids. This is so taxing on his economy, so expensive, and even doing all of this, he still walled out his main gold. You can't beat him? Join him, exactly. Stylish way to lure a boar. Always shoots the boar with the TC. Yeah, that's a risky play. But what is Vivi doing? Looks like he's going to go for the Fast Castle, to be quite honest. Fast Castle Knights? Fast Castle Conquistadors with the tower defense? Viv uh, Mr. Yo's a smart player. He's identified this. And he's going to place the tower on their berries, giving Vivi a lot of problems. These villagers will be able to batter their way through the Palisades. will be able to place more towers, preventing some of these farmers from taking their food and probably preventing the Fast Castle. Now, if you're not an experienced player... You have to identify your opponent is going for a fast castle right away. You need to identify as soon as possible so you can come forward and place a tower just like this and break through those walls and prevent the fast castle. Or at least, you know, delay their fast castle or do what damage you can. And Mr. Yo has done that. I'm gonna place another tower here, probably. Go ahead. Not gonna place the tower there. That the tower there would have um, probably taken maybe off of two farms. This one will take away two farms too. Now this is a window of opportunity for Mysterio. He doesn't have that much time. He's gonna be able to place this tower and maybe start another one before Vivi can start to counter tower. Double palisades coming up. Not really. I mean, this is already hurting Vivi's economy so much. Four villagers are idle. This farm is done. Now, granted, there wasn't a whole lot of food on that farm anyway, but... That farm will have to be deleted. Or else villagers will move over to the farm once their farm is done and then they'll die. And Mr. Yo taking his sweet time. Not going to be placed in the next tower. This is... Needs to place another tower right now. I'll place it right there. I don't think you have enough time. You want it to be within range of the first tower. And Vivi should be able to counter tower, but regardless, Mr. Yo should be able to get up a good tower somewhere. Now, th yeah, that's an ideal tower for placement. That's good. That's a good one. And these are Spanish villagers too. They'll build faster. So this tower is is a goner. Vivi should cancel that right away, or else he's going to lose his villagers. And in response, Mr. Yo can try a tower here to take away the gold, or can try a tower here to take away the wood line. So this is still going to do good damage. The question is, does Vivi have enough resources to go for a fast castle? So Market Blacksmith has the wood. Does he have the food? It's close. It's very close. It's not a clean fast castle. It's definitely not a clean fast castle. And... You could sell stone in this situation, but if you're going to go Conquistadors, it doesn't really make any sense. We'll see what Vivi decides to do with his market. Not a clean fast castle at all. This is going to take a little bit of time to seed up some more farms, especially if Vivi wants to keep adding villagers, or he can idle his town center and go up faster, but he'll be at a di villager disadvantage. But it might be worth considering how much damage those conquistadors could do to get them out sooner. So there we go. Going to sell 100 stone. Going to buy the food. Has sold all of the stone to get it to the next age. And as a result of that, he's going to have to heavily saturate stone to get a castle up right away. And just dropped off that stone probably for a counter tower. There it is. So by the time Vivi gets up to the next age, Vivi's not going to have enough stone for a castle. Probably will be two or three hundred stone short. And because of that, I really don't like the decision to sell all that stone. I think wait a little bit, add a few more farms. Would, would have been better for the economy as well. So this forward for Mr. Yo has done its job. It's delayed the fast castle, made it less efficient. Forced Vivi to use the market. 
Let's check how Mr. Yo is doing at home. Mr. Yo has no farmers. Mr. Yo is... Woo! Woo! Mr. Yo is gonna... It's gonna be some time before he gets into the next age. I think this is too much stone that Mr. Yo is taking. I, I think he should rebalance his economy, take some villagers off the of stone. He's not going to need the stone unless he wants to go Mangadai versus Conquistors. I wouldn't recommend it. And again, what would I recommend against Conquistors? Maybe camels? Towers? I'm going to send two more villagers forward. If you're trying to get up to the next age as fast as possible, I think redistributing your resources more towards food and wood would be a better idea. A market would be good. You could sell the wood, could sell the stone. Get up nice and soon. The two more villagers coming forward. They're going to go over towards the north. And these scouts can provide good line of sight. Telling Mr. Yo that a tower here would be devastating. So let's check the fog of war. There we go. Let's go over to Vivi, who has recently got up to the next age. Yeah, he doesn't want to spend any stone on a tower. He wants to spend the stone on a castle. And let's see what he does. I think best move for Vivi is probably not to build a counter tower. Oh, well, he is. Had enough stone there that you could have maybe used your market to buy a castle and place the castle here. I think if you're that close, the castle will do the job of taking out the tower. Unless you don't want to place the castle there. It looks like that tower is going to get abandoned. It's pretty close. I might go for it still. In fact, Mr. Yo is going to go for it. What's the percentage on this tower? It's 94. And even this is not too bad. Just, you're idling five villagers for two villagers. I would just keep going for the tower, but trying not to take too many arrow shots until the villagers get too low that you can't go for the tower anymore. So this is idling five villagers. This is preventing the castle from going up. Well, for at least a few seconds anyway. But here's that castle from Vivi. Mr. Yo is up to the next age, probably using a little bit of market magic. And Mr. Yo will go Mangadai. Mangadai versus Conquistadors. That's not something we see often. I think a villager just died. I heard one. I don't see the body, though. Oh, there we go. Two villagers down. Wow. So that's. I think that was three villagers, actually. Vivi not paying attention, as I wasn't. And those villagers gonna take away the gold. Where's the gold? Where? Oh. <laughs> well, here's the gold. How much gold does? Okay, Vivi has enough gold for two conquistadors. And what does that mean once again? That means that we're gonna have to see some more market magic. A lot of market utilization in this first game, and that's never ideal. Again, this is slowing down Conquistador production, or at least hurting the economy enough. Alright, so Vivi gonna get back on gold. Now, was this all worth it? Was this all worth it? It's all up to these Conquistadors to do some damage. Immediately gonna kill a villager. Gonna kill two villagers, I think. I really should use these tabs more often. <laughs> I forget they exist. Alright, so. One villager advantage for Vivi. Not really saying a lot. But he's got the Conquistors. He made it to the Castle Age with Spanish. This is where the Spanish thrive. This is where the... Mongols don't. But this is a little bit of different Mongols play. This is... Mongols with the castle. It's not a great position on the castle. It helps protect the gold, but doesn't completely protect the gold. Helps to protect the stone, but doesn't completely protect the stone. And how great would it be if Mr. Yo were able to get stone walls in this area? I think I would have liked to see that. Of course, that would have delayed the castle, but whatever. Please ignore the terrible flags. <laughs> Yeah, that's what that's what conquistadors can do, Chief Chin. That's what conquistadors can do. I've seen a player just be losing the entire game, and then boom, twenty-five villagers down, one big raid with conquistadors. I've seen it. 
And this is going to be the first Conquistador raid of this game. Conquistador is moving towards the south. Mr. Yo should see it. Looks like he's done a decent job walling. And that's always very important when preventing raiding. We have a few Mangadai out. Now, I don't mind, honestly, Cavalry Archers versus Conquistadors. I've done it myself in games. The problem is that Cavalry Archers are a little bit more expensive to upgrade. You need Bodkin Arrow, Bracer, Bloodlines. But they don't fare too bad. Of course, Mangadai are a little bit stronger than Cavalry Archers. Anything happening in Vivi's base? Vivi, gold issues. We have Mr. Yo still getting some food from these, these guys. Looks like Mr. Yo is not aware. Any villagers down? One villager down. Mangadai need bloodlines, I think. Gonna get ballistics. Gonna kill two villagers. Lucky. But gonna lose one Conquistador. Villager numbers are dead even. Alright, we have ballistics on the Mangadai. That's an advantage that they have over the Conquistadors. Oh, what are you doing? Why, why are you splitting your army? Don't do that. Now, ballistics really evens things up. It's all about the micro. These uh, Conquistadors, they don't have ballistics because they're gunpowder units, so they might miss. But if they hit, they do much more damage. It's uh, 8 damage versus 16 damage, so double damage. Bloodline's now coming in. Husbandry is going to be an important upgrade as well. I think Mangadai are probably faster than Conquistadors, which can be a big deal. A second castle would help not only with production, but helping preventing raiding. Castle here would be great. That's a little bit sloppy. Gonna lose a little more HP. Military numbers clearly in favor of Vivi. Vivi still, you know, he's got the momentum a little bit. How many town centers for Mysterio? Three town centers. Has a little bit of an economy here. I think Vivi is still on one town center. And this only goes to show you how hurt his economy has been. And this is unusual. Well, not that unusual. I think he's going to get the stable for bloodlines. And that's it. But this is more wood invested into something that could have been a town center. And look how many farms Vivi has as well. So I'm liking Mr. Yo's position. I think with this stronger economy, the Mega Knight should be able to hold out. But Mr. Yo will need a second castle to make use out of that, set, that economy. Right now, the limiting factor is, of course, the production speed of the castle. Husbandry coming in. Bloodlines is not quite done, but there's so many. So many Conquistadors. When you fire with that many Conquistadors, even if they're inaccurate, you're bound to hit some of the Mangadai. Siege Workshop coming forward. We're seeing the dynamics of this game play out. Does Mr. Yo have enough for a castle? Perfect. Perfect. Vivi is... Invested right now into doing damage. He's not invested into economy. Not invested in the late game. This castle will shut down the aggression. And I'm really liking Mr. Yo's position, even if he loses this fight. Which it looks like he might not. It's going to be close. These Kakisaurus have plus two armor. It helps a lot against ranged units. Meanwhile, the armor of the Mangadai doesn't matter too much because the attack of the Kakisaurus is so high. That's how armor works in Age of Empires. Yeah, really loving Mr. Yo's position. The score says the same story. Mr. Yo almost going to be 20 villagers ahead. Going to clean up the Conquistadors. The Mang and I are doing the job. And I think we've learned something today. We learned Mang and I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Conquistadors... If you have a little bit better economy, in my opinion. If you're able to do the damage to the Spanish, you know, able to prevent the castle. This is not a clean Conquistador build. If this was a clean Conquistador build where Vivi went straight up to Castle Age, built the castle right away, I think Mr. Yo would be dead. He'd be dead very, very early on in this game. But since Mr. Yo was able to delay, able to do the damage to Vivi's economy, able to make Vivi use the market so much, move out to the next gold, Lose some villagers. Mr. Yo is able to make Mangadai, and Mangadai are able to go toe to toe with Conquistadors. There we go. All the upgrades done for the Mangadai, except for Thumbring. Thumbring will even help even more. And Vivi's still trying to do the damage now. He's got a ram. 
Still doesn't have a second town center. I'm gonna build it now, but it's too late. There's no way he's getting back in these villager numbers. All the second town center means to me is that if Vivi gets a miraculous raid where he kills 30, 35 villagers, maybe 20 villagers, then he's still in the game. And he's not going to win this fight. He's going to try it, but he's not going to win it. And this is where Mega Dyer are... This is where most units, in fact, most ranged units are better than Conquistadors. A lot of people might wonder why... You see a lot of Conquistadors, but you hardly see elite Conquistadors. Why are ranged units... Why do they catch up to the elite Conquistador? And that's partly due to the fire speed of the Conquistador. It's so slow. It doesn't matter if you're going to be raiding with small numbers. Or fighting with small numbers, such as early Castle Age. But when you're fighting just toe-to-toe, -to -toe, head to head with another unit, the fire speed is going to be so much faster out of ranged units. And especially for Mongols Cavalry Archers or Mongols Megadai. That you have to be able to use that micro. And that's only really effective in smaller numbers. Yeah, Ballistics did... Uh, sorry, Mr. Yo did Ballistics quite a while ago. And Mr. Yo, will it be thinking about going up to the next age? Needs quite a bit more gold. I would just take your time. Add another castle. Making sure that you secure all of your resources with town centers or castles or whatever. Move towards the south. We have a castle coming up for Mr. Yo. In fact, two castles should be coming up soon. Castle here would be great. Oh, it's going to be right on the top. It's gonna, This is going to be the GG castle. If this castle goes up. Vivi can build a counter. He can build a counter tower relatively quickly. Let's see. That was Mr. Yo. Just place it right there. Okay. Going to go with that one. There's the possibility you lose the castle, though. If the quick tower comes up. There's a quick tower. I don't think it's within range of all the villagers. That's a poor placement. Mr. Yo's going to win this fight, regardless of if the castle goes up. Yeah, micro against ballistics, really. That castle is just not within range. There's too many villagers building this castle. That castle is up. GG. Good game. Very interesting third game. I haven't seen a situation like this where we see Megadai versus Kakistor, so I'm very glad to watch that. And I hope you guys are as well. If your opponent is going for a fast castle, you have to diagnose it right away. You have to look at the score, see when they got it to the next age, analyze their civilization, take a look at their map, are they walling it, and go forward right away with towers. And uh, Mr. Yo did that and did some great damage because of that. And GG. If he, if Mr. Yo would have stayed back and felt lazy, would have gotten raided by conquistadors in the castle age and would have been GG. So good play from Mr. Yo. He's going to take 2-1 in this series.